and now you play Baylor and, and, and talking to some people and, and watching Baylor this year, like it does not look like the same Dave Aranda type defense as we've seen in previous years. And that, and like even going back to last year, they were not a good defensive unit uh, last year as well. It doesn't look like they've gotten better. It doesn't really look like they've improved uh, the team speed. I think they're very vulnerable on that back end. If Ewers has some time, I, I think Worthy and Winnington, that receiving core, could have a monster game. I think they get right here, put up a big number on Baylor. Not going to lay, I don't know about laying the 15. Maybe the back door gets open with, with a number like that, but. But I, I feel pretty good that on Texas scoring at least 34 points. It always feels better to wager on the over, doesn't it? Like you, like you. No, always, see, no, 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 not with me. I'm the other way around. I like unders. I mostly bet unders. Yeah. I will rarely bet over. But like rooting for points is more fun, isn't it? You're rooting for no, points? No. no, no. Rooting for turnovers and I, and field goals. I, I, is I, more I fun want. Than punts? I want great plays. I want third down sacks. I want. <laughs> see, I, I guess my mentality too is like, our, and, and, uh, yesterday. I, I had under two and a half in the Real Madrid uh, soccer match. Of course you did, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Uh, you did Berlin. And the Union Berlin keeper was standing on his head. Real Madrid had like 30 shots on, thirty shots and like 10 on target and couldn't score. And I, I'm just sitting there, sitting there loving it. And finally, in like the fifth minute of added time, Real Madrid wound up scoring and winning 1-0. Winning no, but I, 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 like, I like, I guess maybe it's the sadistic <laughs> part of me that has the knows that there's people out there who I'll bet all these over and think goals, goals, goals. And and here I am holding under two and a half and just kind of laughing at like the misery of their inability to uh, put, a, put, a, put a goal in. But you must feel great about this one if you're taking over then. Yeah, okay. I do. All right. And you already hit your TCU over in week one this year too. So yes. you're, you're going back to the well there with yeah, that. And not going over. after a couple of losses. Yeah. All right. My best bet for this week, I'm going out west to the Pac-12 conference. I'm taking Shock. Washington State here. Plus the three at home against Oregon State for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of the like Washington that. is a like better football one. team right now. Like uh, Cam Ward is in year two at quarterback. Ben Arbuckle came over to, to run the offense from Western Kentucky. He's tw ben Arbuckle is 20 years old. He's running great offense so far. Washington is much better in offense than last season. Cam Ward, nine touchdowns, no turnovers. He's protecting the ball. He's doing the right thing. On the flip side, they can rush the passer, man. Like they, they're a good defense. They play well against, uh, against Wisconsin. A couple weeks ago, limited to under 100 yards rushing by the running backs. Oregon State is good. They won 10 games last year, but they played San Jose State, San Diego State, who makes my eyes bleed watching them play offense, <laughs> and they played UC Davis. This is a step up in competition for the Beavers going on the road to Washington, who can They played a real team in Wisconsin, and they blew out Colorado State, who just played yep. Colorado tough. Mm -hmm. We saw last weekend. But more than anything else in this, too, for me, DJU is Oregon State's quarterback. Week one, he completed 80% of passes, and 60% of passes. And 47% of passes, like he's, he was 14 of 30 against the Aztecs for 280 yards, which is a lot of yards, yeah. but 40, 14 of 30, you know, on the road against Washington and State here. Picks. What? And two picks last week. And two picks last week. Like to me, this is a great spot. Washington State right now is sort of going through this, like, you know, this, this, this big prideful season because they're maybe being left out of a, a big conference. Oregon State might be able to say the same thing, though. I know, These two are kind of attached to the hip. If this game was at, at Oregon State, I might feel better about the Beavers, but this is in Pullman. I played there a bunch of times. It's hard to play in this game. Uh, I like Pullman here. I like Pullman. I like Washington State here. Plus the three points. I think we we like Pullman, though, too, right? What? We like Pullman, though. Pullman's a lot of – Pullman's very unique. I played three games there. Good um, word. It's, uh, it's, it's fun. It's a, it's a unique place to play, Bear. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.